Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly measure the power of your laser module with an optical power meter. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so what I'm about to show you will basically work with any machine and laser module. So that's why you are seeing two machines in front of you. So right now we got the brand new uh, NJ3 Pro with the A4640 laser module. This is a 10 to 12 watt uh, optical power output. And then we got the Alfero Laser 2 uh, with the LU24 uh, short focus uh, laser module. And this is a 5 to 5.5 watt uh, laser module. Okay, now um, I will basically show you two procedures. One of them involves the use of a testing board like this one. Now this normally ships with the laser module that you buy separately from Nege. Um, I haven't seen such a board with other uh, manufacturer, with other brands, uh, but this is, I think, a very good board to have for testing purposes and any other thing. So I'll show you one procedure using one of those testing board if you happen to have one. And one procedure uh, will basically um, use the actual controlling software to perform the test. And so that's why I'm taking you the Alfero order machine. Okay, so let's start up with this one. Now, ideally, when you perform the measurement, you will want to have the unfocus beam. And so the reason for that is because uh, on your optical power meter, you have a sensor and this sensor uh, can get damaged very easily. So uh, the last thing that you want to do is to actually um, point the laser in focus. So that's basically going to poke through the sensor and make, and who knows what is going to happen, but definitely you are going to damage your uh, optical power meter. And so for this reason, I recommend you unscrew, if possible, uh, the lens from your laser module. However, if there is something that is not uh, feasible or is not very easy to do, then I'll show you exactly how to do the same thing with the other module. Now, first thing first, de-energize the machines and remove the uh, laser module from its clamp. Uh, now, in the NJ, you got uh, tool, an allen key to remove it, and so use that, okay, and then I'm, I'm going to disconnect it, uh, otherwise you will have a very easy clamp like in the Alfero slash Orter machine, and so that's actually fairly easy, okay. Now I will keep this connected so that you can see in a while uh, how we are going to test that. Now. Uh, what you want to do, uh, put it upside down, you will see inside the actual lens there. Now I went ahead of time and I screw it all the way out uh, so that I can just show you very quickly. You can see that there is, there are slots here, if I can put that in focus. Inside there are slots over to the side, so you can get a, a small flat head and to gently twist that. Uh, be very careful because you don't want to hit the lens with your screwdriver otherwise you will scratch it and ruin up the uh, laser module basically. You will need to look for a replacement lens, okay? So let me, let me take this off. Now, once that is done, just let it fall on your hand and be very careful with what you do with it. So you will want to put it aside somewhere where it cannot drop or cannot get accidentally scratched. And so I'll leave it over here for the time being. Okay. Um, so now you got the laser module. Uh, now for this demonstration, I'm going to use, as I said, the testing board. So uh, you will need the testing board and 
the cable. So I'll connect the cable to the testing board. Okay. And the other hand to the testing board. Can see over here. Okay. Now this one will basically get directly the power supply. Okay. So I have it over here. And as you can see, right now it says off, okay, because we are actually off. But you saw that the small fan on the module spin for a while, so that means that we are successful. Then what you want to do is to align the laser module with the optical power meter. Now you might need to use some uh, um, something to boost them up, either once so that you can basically align them also vertically. And so I know already that I need to boost up only by three millimeters my uh, meter here. And the first thing I will suggest you to do for this laser module, since we removed the uh, focusing lens, we will have an unfocused beam coming out straight from the diode. Uh, from the two diodes, since this is a dual diode uh, laser module. So I will power this on. And now, as you can see, there is 1% uh, power output. And I'll use this to help me out and find the actual vertical and horizontal center. Okay. Now, turn that on. Turn, turn that on. Okay. And I'll put it close there. There we go. I think we are there. And now, off. All right, now uh, this particular optical power meter uh, can read up to a 10 watt optical power. And so, since I already know that this uh, laser module uh, is rated at 10 to 12 um, watt, so I'm not going to use 100% power ever because I don't want to damage my uh, measuring tool, right? So what I will do in order to estimate the maximum power, if that is what I'm actually looking for, I'm going to use a fraction of that. So I will, for example, go at 50%. Um, and so then from there, uh, having in mind that there is a certain linearity, uh, and so 50% should correspond to the actual 50% of the power. Uh, in reality, it's not perfectly linear. Uh, but we should get a pretty good approximation. The other thing is when you uh, read, uh, bear in mind also that there is a tolerance in the reading from the uh, particular optical power meter that you are using. All right, so now I'll uh, switch this on and I will go at 20%. Okay. So this is a 10 to 12 watt laser module. So I'm expecting a little bit more than two watts coming out of the laser. And as you can see, we basically stabilized at almost 2.2 watt, which kind of correspond so if we do that times five, we are basically getting a 11 watt laser module right now. Also, let me switch this off. Bear in mind that the reading uh, and the actual power that you get will depend on the actual condition of your laser module. So if this is a laser module that has been already used, especially if it's been used for uh, metal engraving, uh, be aware that the residual optical power uh, will be lower. And so if this was meant to be a 12 watt, now it's showing 11 watt, which is perfectly fine. All right, now uh, I'm going to show you uh, the other procedure. And so for that, we are going to switch to the other machine. So I will just unplug this all off. Okay, let me power this down for the moment. Uh, and by the way, once you're done with it, um, you will need to screw back in the uh, lens. Um, so be, once again, very careful on how you handle it. 
Uh, the other thing also, uh, since you are handling the lens, if you're dismantling, this is a very good opportunity for you uh, to clean the lens. And if you wanna know how to do that, I've got you covered. I have a video which I released a while back and you will see a card popping up in the corner. All right, now let's take care about the second procedure. So that is uh, using the controlling software in the case where you don't have one of those uh, testing board. So what you will want to do um, is to connect the power and the USB cable to your machine. Okay, and I'll put this inclined for the time being and I will hold down the five seconds to power this on. So as you can see, this is now powered on. Now you will want to jump uh, to the computer. All right, now I'm here on my PC. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to use laser GRBL, but be aware that the same will apply to Light Barn, uh, simply because we are going to use the console, okay? So the same thing can be typed on the other software. All right, so first thing first, let's connect the machine. And since this is a machine without home, we'll need to unlock the machine. So now the machine is uh, ready and we can test out by jogging. Let me just put the speed up a little bit and the jog down. And as you can see, the machine has moved, okay? Uh, so now what we want to do, we will need to use the console. So now in this laser module, um, as we said, uh, we are not going, actually, let me remove the shield. We won't need that. I'm not going to remove the lens, okay? And let me try to show you like this, okay? And the reason for that is because the lens is very close to the slot and there is a big chance to scratch that. So I'll just I'll leave it like this so that I can show you also how you can go about it, okay? So the important thing is that as I said at the beginning, you don't want to go into focus in your sensor, okay? And so if you go far enough so that you are out of focus, uh, you are basically perfectly fine for the uh, measurement, okay? So now I will turn on the laser for a 1% power output so that we can try to align them. And to do that, once the machine is unlocked, you will simply need to type in M03 or M3 S100, uh, has 10. This is, uh, bear in mind that uh, now we are basically uh, writing down G code to send straight to the machine. And uh, the G code based on the configuration that uh, uh, it's usually default with this type of machines, um, basically the target percentage is the percentage time 10. So that means if I want to have 100% power, that's going to correspond to 1000, okay? And so right now we want to get um, a 1% power, and so that's going to be 10. And so now we can click on enter. Now, as you can see, nothing is happening. The reason for that is because uh, the G code is going to expect some kind of movement, otherwise it makes no sense. It will be burning one spot. So I'll suggest you to go down with the steps and to move to either direction, okay? Now, as you can see, the laser is on. And now we can use this to align the machine and the laser, okay? So again, uh, you will want to use some board to help you out. Now, I have already tested this, I know that two boards will be very precise, precisely what we need. And then I want to go, let me do it a little bit like this, yes. And then I want to go as far as I can here, okay? So that I'm basically covering almost the entire area, okay? So that's what I want to achieve. I don't want to concentrate uh, the entire power on a, on a small point, like putting it in focus. So now I'm going to turn this on, okay? And so right now you are getting some kind of readings. So let's return to the software and here I'm going to type M2. This is going to basically hand any kind of process in the machine, okay? So now it is time to actually do the test and so Say for example, once again, we want to test the 
uh, to what that corresponds. So again, M3, which is constant power, S uh, 20 times 10, so that's 200. Click on enter. And as you can see, the laser is outputting some uh, light. Now, this is a 5 to 5.5 watt laser module. So we do expect somewhat a, uh, a watt at 20%, okay? Now that's stable, so that's our reading, and we can once again click on M2, type in M2 to end the process. And now our measuring tool will go down. All right, and so once you are done with that, now you will want to wait for the fan to hand, so that means that it's cooling down, and that's perfectly ready. And so now we can actually de-energize the machine. Now, as you can see, the both procedures are fairly simple. Uh, this will give you a correct reading and will also prevent you from damaging your uh, measuring tool. Uh, bear in mind that those optical power meters are not cheap. Now, this is one of the cheapest and it was around $150. I hope you found my video helpful, informative. If you have any comment, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked it, click the thumb button below. And as usual, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more video like this one. Ciao for now.